There are many ways to express your individuality. You can create a work of art, you can live in a packing crate and make exotic jewelry, or for $25, you can order a personalized license plate. We thought we'd meet some of those wonderful folks behind the plates. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. And it sure looks like you and Paul and the crew are having some fun there in the studio. <laughs> well, here we are on a bluff overlooking the beautiful San Fernando Valley, and what we're going to do now is take a look, get to know some of those folks behind the wacky Southern California license plates. Joe, uh, what's your last name? Shaw. Joe Shaw? Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Joe? I'm from Chicago. Uh -huh. And you're living now in L.A., obviously? Obviously. What do you do for a living, sir? I'm a computer operator. And uh, what kind of car do you have here, Joe? A uh, 75 Monte Carlo. And uh, you've had it since 75? Right. Nice ride? Yes, it is. And your license plate, Joe, is? A cool 75. Uh, a cool 75, does that pertain in any regard to you? Um, I guess you can say it does in one way, because I am pretty cool. Consider yourself to be a cool, <laughs> I'm a cool person. And uh, how would you demonstrate that coolness? Are you, are you being cool now? <laughs> Not really. I'm pretty nervous right now. Really? You don't act nervous at all? Well, that's part of the coolness in me. <laughs> and uh, this would be, say, better than a cool 65? <laughs> yes, it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Rob Mucha, and uh, your license plate, Rob, is? A cool 65. A cool 65. And, uh, okay, so now the, a cool 65 refers to? The car. the car. The car is a what? 1965 Mustang. Uh -huh. Now, you know, Rob, I don't want to burst your balloon, but we had a man here earlier <clears throat> whose license plate was a cool 75, and I said to him, what would your opinion be of, of a cool 65? And he wasn't all that impressed with a cool 65. Uh, he's not a native of California, then. That's all I have to say, because... Well, that's true. He was from Chicago, as it turns out. <laughs> no doubt. No so, doubt. So you're saying a local cool 65 is much better than a transplanted cool 75? Of course. How could you cruise in a 1970 car? I... Uh, sorry. Now, you do a lot of cruising? Of course. And what kind of reaction do you get from other drivers on the freeways here? Uh, a little bit of, you know, hey, pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and do you acknowledge those, or you just try and be a little more aloof? the old... Yeah. Do that again. <laughs> that's very nice. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What is your last name? Oshner. Oshner. And what do you do for a living, Deborah? I work for an insurance company. We want to talk a little bit about your license plate. I hot are you too, and this is some sort of equation relating to thermal dynamics. I would guess. <laughs> now, uh, you're sort of asking a question here in this little uh, license plate. Do you get do you get responses from people? Uh huh. I get followed home a lot. <laughs> uh, generally, nice people follow you home, or deadbeats? Um, deadbeats, I guess. I don't, use, I don't go home. I pretend I'm going home. And, like, they just kind of watch, and then I, when they leave, I leave. <laughs> yeah. How is that for your mileage? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go that far away from home. <laughs> this gentleman is Dan Reese. Dan, tell us uh, what you do for a living. I drive a gasoline tanker for Union 76. You drive huge quantities of flammable liquid. Uh, that's right. Uh, and your license plate says? Crazy Dan. Attaboy. Uh, how, how come you're known as Crazy Dan? Uh, how it came about was uh, when I initially got divorced, I moved into a, a condominium in Corona, where I live now. Uh, we threw a Halloween party about a year and a half ago, and uh, we had people dressed up as anything from flashers to jail, you know, uh, jail or fugitives, whatever you want to call them. So let me get this straight. You threw a Halloween party, and people came in costumes. Ah, uh, that's right. That was... Oh my God, what will this guy think of next? <laughs> this woman is Herta Parsons, right. and Herta, your license plate says what? I'm hip. I'm hip. That's my license plate and my initials. I'm hip, Herta Imhof Parsons. Oh, I see. Those are my initials. So this is this really is a personalized license plate for you. Yes. Now, uh, do you get a lot of uh, people uh, contacting you that have seen you on the freeway because they are looking for somebody who really is a hip? Person? No, but pedestrians, especially teenagers, when they see my license plate, they go like this. Uh -huh. uh, Herta, let me just uh, invite you, uh, as long as we're going to be in Southern California here, anytime you want to come and sit in with our band, you're more than welcome. Oh, thank you. Uh, these people are the Kleins, Marion and uh, Aggie, and, uh, and you are too damn hip, I guess. <laughs> Way too damn hip, actually. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, we grew up in Indiana, and all my friends at that time said I was too damn hip for Indiana, so we had to come to California. And, and how do you feel now that you're in California? Are you, are you still too damn hip for California? <laughs> well, of course.
course. Absolutely. What else? And your name, sir, is? Jess Gonzalez. Jess Gonzalez, and you are Fat Boy. Right. <laughs> 60 some odd years. Do you find that, that on the freeways people tend to stay away from a guy driving a car with a license plate that says fat boy or are they attracted to that? <laughs> they go by there and then you say, yeah, he is fat, you know? <laughs> so that must give you an extra sense of pride when you're yeah. out there on the highway. They go by, just go like that to him. I says, yeah, so what? You know, well, don't bother me. And you are fat guy. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mike, have you been driving around Southern California? Have you ever seen any other fat license plates? No, I haven't. No. None whatsoever? None whatsoever. As far as you know, you may be the only fat license plate in uh, L.A.? In L.A., yes. Okay. We have a surprise for you. <laughs> Jess, back it on in here. <laughs> pretty exciting. Mike McGarvey, fat guy. Jess Gonzalez, fat boy. <laughs> Quite a moment, isn't it? Yes, it is. There were no stars here today. These people checked their egos at the door. And you're saying to yourself, what do they have in common? I'll tell you what these people have in common. Out of the endless list of people in Southern California ha having goofy license plates, these were the people who agreed to show up. And I think that's pretty darn special. Tonight. Back with stupid pet tricks.